My history with Brian Danielson. What is this, a bedtime story? I wrestled Zack Sabre Jr. in a little bar in front of 45 people in like 2008. 14 years ago, Brian Danielson was the best wrestler in the world. He wrestled a very young, inexperienced Zack Sabre Jr. This is gonna be a cakewalk. And it wasn't a cakewalk. And I thought, okay, if he, if he keeps training hard and if he can put on a little bit of muscle or whatever it is, he's, he's gonna be somebody to watch. And then when he broke through in New Japan, all of a sudden, like, his gears changed. And it was just a pleasure to watch because I'm somebody who loves, 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 loves technical wrestling. And he was doing stuff I'd never seen before. I've called his matches, very unique, very different. Long body, works with leverage. He's gonna beat with submissions. That's it! Or pins that you just cannot escape. Zack Sabre Jr. makes it seem so effortless in the ring. He has such a tremendous foundation of submission wrestling that that could make him dangerous against almost any opponent. But then you add his kicks, his strikes, his throws into that, and Zack Sabre Jr. is a, a professional wrestler that would give anyone else fits in the ring. American Dragon, you take some time out your busy golfing schedule with the Blackpool Country Club to find out who the best technical wrestler in the world is. But I'll tell you now, darling, it's in me. The bad news, I am not cleared to compete. I would like to see those medical records, because I think Brian's concerned about being outed as not the best technical wrestler in the world. You can say this about the entire Blackpool Combat Club. They have a lot of integrity. They don't back down. They don't lie to you. There's no doubt about it that it's a legit injury. I have found the one person I trust to take my place at Verbindor. The one person I know in the entire world who will take it to Zack Sabre Jr. from a technical level, and you are all going to be astounded by what he does in AEW. From day one, when Forbidden Door was announced, fans were speculating about who would be on the card. Now to have this mystery component added in, it just further increases those possibilities. It's an international event, so it could be someone here in the United States or someone that wrestles internationally. This lends to a surprise that we maybe not even have thought of before. Well, I'm here for Brian Danielson. It's a long flight from Japan, it's 15 hours. I could not give a flying toss about the mystery opponent. I should just go back to Japan. He's somebody that was coming into this event with a huge chip on his shoulder, and I think it's only gonna grow from here. So I'm gonna prove, without a doubt, that I'm the greatest technical wrestler in the world. I hate letting people down. Come Sunday, nobody's gonna be let down.